Yo guys, what is up? It's Grizz Games back once again with Bloons Tower Defense Battles. It's it's gonna be card battles today. You already know because it's probably in the title. So <laughs> let's spin this wheel, see what our luck is saying today. Okay, go banana farmer. That is probably one of the better things on the wheel. Obviously, the robo farmer is probably the best one but the banana farmer is worth around 200 medallions i think so definitely a good one i'm having flashbacks already guys i'm having flashbacks already of the last episode so basically if you haven't seen it watch it right now because i'm gonna spoil it otherwise so pause it pause this video jump to that last video and watch it and now i'm gonna say <laughs> what happens so obviously if you haven't watched it and you don't mind too much about missing it basically what happened was we got our ass handed to us last episode it was pretty dirty and i'm kind of i'm looking at my decks a little different now can't lie i'm looking at them not like they're not so shiny anymore so i haven't made any changes to the deck but the changes will be coming soon hopefully going to be doing a episode by itself just on the changes of the deck and potentially haven't decided yet could be um streaming doing the changes just so you guys uh if you do have any ideas about the deck can let me know and okay we lost one life there i think i placed that in a bit of a dodgy spot because i got a little uh, nervous probably should have placed it down here might have been able to get that that last balloon that's that first balloon even that sneaked on through so hopefully gonna be playing these games a little bit better than we did last game oh that darling gun these flashbacks are too real so yeah definitely gonna be making some changes to this deck and hopefully gonna be doing that uh, over the weekend uh, for you guys, it should come out over the weekend at least. And I'm just going to place this over here. Put that to strong. Oh, I'll send that as well. So, you know I hate this darling gun up because as you saw there, it's quite difficult to see what their defense is actually like uh if they are able to defend it or if the balloons are sneaking through and phew, this is scaring me this is scaring me quite a bit so i'm just gonna lighten in that because i saw that he boosted those and i'll even place a clue there just to make sure we get those and can clean those all up and I'm just going to save up for the tax sprayer right here as well. Just for that extra little bit of popping power. That we may definitely need. I'm going to be trying to play a little safer this time. Because last time it's just stuck in my head. But that is definitely a good thing guys. Because now we know what we need to change. Uh, we know possibilities of what we can change too. And can't really get mad at, uh, at being able to improve your own game. So I'm just going to tax that. I'm not even going to use the kidnap on the farm. I'm going to actually get rid of the kidnap. And focus more on the eco. Because I feel like on one of those games we did kidnap a little bit too much. 
and we put ourselves quite far behind uh, just because of all of that, all of the uh, all of the kidnaps. So we'll probably save up here and try and get something. I'm even going to arrange boost. I'm not. I am not trying to risk anything here. And it looks like we've lost anyway. Okay, so that is definitely not good after that guy good game looks like the lost streak will continue and you know what i'm not gonna get scared off of ceramic crucible just yet because we do have enough medallions to keep going in and if we face off against someone like this hopefully it should be okay so i'm gonna ready up here I'm just brainstorming already. I'm brainstorming already about the cards I will be replacing. Because I do like this deck. I do like the... Just the sheer amount of rotation it has. Uh, which is always nice. But definitely not with a start like this. So we will try and get this cheeky little guy up right here there we go so we ended up only losing one life i'm not too sad about that he got the uh the slightly better razor sharp shots monkey up and i'm just gonna focus on some more balloon sends here i'll even send this one as soon as we get some money because his defense isn't the greatest at the moment I feel like if a few could just sneak on through doesn't look like they will sneak through unfortunately for us but I will be placing this intense magic over here put down strong okay these plantations coming out but that is just fine We'll put trip dart right there and we will just sit back and relax for a little while so it's going to be a slightly quicker video this time uh, just for a because i gotta eat kind of soon but hopefully i will try to keep to around 20 to 30 minute videos uh, in the future uh, this one's probably going to be around 20 minutes I think uh, I think that's solid time but I will be eating some I think I'll be eating some fish rice broccoli it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a throwback kind of kind of dinner there I haven't had that in a while I'll be sending a few balloons here. Looks like we can defend okay for a little bit. Uh, got the eco up to about 450, so I may even check what his eco is real quick. Lower than ours, that's a. I mean, I like to see that, but it hasn't helped us out too much in the past. So. We will be focusing some more on defense and trying to get out this semi-automatic rifle. Uh, it will be a bit of an over defend for a while but it will be much better than losing. Especially in these more tricky rounds. I'm almost waiting for him to uh, to play something, to play a, a scary little rush and there it is. So I didn't actually have enough time, like I didn't have enough uh, money there I don't think. So I did kind of have to uh, waste a boost almost. But I'm okay with that. As long as we didn't lose too many lives, I mean we did lose a few but almost at 100. I'm not too worried. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't too worried either. Because... 
No, you got you got to have some faith in your deck sometimes. And I believe that this deck could definitely be making a comeback in this game. So he's sending quite a few pinks. Uh, I'm actually going to glue here. And throw down another trip dot. Not in the best spot either. It's uh... Oh, it is a painful day for us. Wow. So that was an extremely close uh, rush that he just did there. And it's not looking too good for us. I'll sell that just to get it out the way to be able to put this here. So looks like he will be rushing quite a bit and it looks like we're actually going to just lose it. I don't think the boost was up just then and I had the monkey on hand. Wow. He did pretty well there. That was so unfortunate. It looks like the loss streak will continue. Okay, so looks like we'll be revamping the deck maybe slightly sooner than on the weekend and maybe even in between this episode and the next episode because I don't think I can handle too many more losses. It is it's getting a little bit out of hand. I thought I was onto a winner with this deck. In fact, uh, before I was streaming, I did go on a nice little win streak. I can't remember how many wins it was. Uh, but on my Steam achievements, it says I've had 18 wins in a row and I'm 100% sure I didn't get that on the normal uh, balloons mode. But then again, it was probably in the lower arenas, so probably not much to, uh, to post about there. Uh, looks like we have a similar kind of start to last game. We'll throw a trip dart around here, I think. And that should be fine. Get rid of that. Throw that out there. Get rid of this. Also get rid of the kidnap these darling guns coming out in full force they seem to be this deck's kryptonite i don't even know all right so this game we're gonna try and focus a little bit more on eco looks like it have been a bad choice to uh to put that at that time uh, just because he was getting quite a bit of money from that but shouldn't be too bad and I'm actually going to place this around here throw some more balloons at him okay so he's actually got a balloon chipper out here don't see that too often not uh not that one at least and he's not sending anything at the moment which gets me a little bit worried because he's not placed too many towers either so he could be saving up for a rush i mean I don't know what goes through a lot of people's minds in this game, uh, as you can probably tell by the recent losses. So, probably best just to be ready for anything. So I'm gonna try keep a little bit of money for the chain lightning. Uh, obviously, we've got our boost and uh, the glue. He's still not sent anything. Okay, so he's got a plantation. I'm not too worried about that. 
but I will be placing down this semi-automatic rifle just up here out of the way put that on strong that's probably a kidnap I should have kept actually uh, just to get rid of the plantation because he doesn't have any eco so I'm not really worried about him getting too much money back from the plantation itself and I'll just work on my eco whilst, uh, whilst we're waiting for him to do something so I think if nothing happens for a little while we will place down the lightning bolts uh, the lightning bolt wizard in fact just to make sure we are safe um what well, he's just placed down that so actually i feel pretty safe to send a few things i'll even send that and kidnap uh, the plantation just so he doesn't get that as extra income And here I think I'm happy just because the next card isn't uh, a card we can use uh, we can use at the moment and it's something we'll just trash. Uh, I will probably just be waiting for the semi-automatic rifle, maybe even a balloon jitsu just to just to say why not really. So he's sending a lot of yellows, uh, not too many actually. But at least he's sending something so he knows how to send. And I think I will just place down the Bloom Jitsu just to be on the very safe side. And I'll just place it there. Get rid of that. And start sending some of these balloons. So yeah, we're just going to work on our eco here. Uh, try and get our eco quite high because his I'm pretty sure is ridiculously low and I'm so sure of that that I don't even want to use the tax um, I've not seen him send any except that yellow that little yellow bit that he just did I will use the tax here just just to double check just because we have got a decent sized eco and he has got quite a bit but I think with that we should be okay yeah so he does have the kidnap so that is something to look out for uh, luckily it wasn't too bad that time and obviously I don't think he noticed that we had the uh, sniper up there So he's, he was probably holding on to that kid now, waiting for me to play something. I didn't even... I didn't quite see what he, uh, what power he used there. But... Wow, it must have been an eco power because he has got a lot of eco now. And that's getting me a little bit worried. But also a little bit happy that this tax can actually be used. So, not too sad, I think I'm going to... Save up for another Bloon Jitsu, just so it's not as bad when he kidnaps this, because I'm pretty sure this guy is just going to wait for his kidnap to come back before he does another rush. So we'll just place this uh, Bloon Jitsu down, and he's used uh, that power, so... Pretty sure we'll be fine to not send anything and now it's uh, now it's gone we can start sending again. I'm just keeping this uh, this lightning bolt wizard around just in case we don't have enough money for something like maybe we're 100 200 off this semi-automatic rifle we can place down the lightning bolt and the chain lightning and that hopefully should be a good defend like that moment right there actually so he can 
kind of see one of the snipers actually, um, which is not great for us, but I'm pretty sure he knows that uh, he must have known that we had something up there anyway, because uh, obviously you can barely see any balloons coming out, they're all getting popped so quickly. And that's always something to look out for if you think uh, the enemy has got like a sniper up there, like maybe the balloons are getting popped a little too quickly. Uh, those are just things you can check. Was that eating ceramics up? That's pretty insane. Oh, okay. So it does throw them out. That got me a little nervous then. I thought, uh, I thought it just ate them whole. So... Yeah, still working on the, ah, oh, working on the eco, but we had quite a big queue here anyway, so I'm not too worried that he uh, that he popped his ability there. Uh, these natural balloons are making it, made it kind of far. They made it decently far on his screen too, but I'd rather be ahead of him than at the same place. He did place down a plantation, so... The things I do like about the plantations, I used to run them. Um, but obviously I, I'm not running them anymore. Uh, the things I do like about them is they do give you money and... You can also sell them if you do need to... Say get up like a dart ship very quickly or... You need to get up like a, a balloon jitsu extremely quick, you just sell your plantation that's like 2000 you get from that i think they cost 2500 to place uh, so you don't even have to have them up for long to make a to make a profit on them uh, so that's definitely one thing to look into when we do start revamping this deck up and that tax took quite a long time to get to us so glad it did in the end But it looks like this uh, this game's going to be going late and I'm quite okay with that. I mean, his ring of fires are, are going to probably cause a few issues, but probably nothing that we can't handle with our current layout. Like, I feel like a, a blue jitsu does slightly more than uh, a ring of fire there. Sorry, a little slow there. I probably should have uh, taxed that a little quicker. Uh, nothing I feel the real need to kidnap at the moment. Um, I mean, everything seems on his side at least. Uh, maybe like low to mid tier on the uh, on the damage side of things. So I feel like kidnaps not overly needed at the moment so it, yeah he just kidnapped that so we will try and find it again and in the meantime just place down some blue jitsus yeah our eco is a bit higher than his but his eco is quite high so it doesn't matter too much I don't think uh, unless he does have an extremely heavy late game card uh, but if he does that's what the kidnap is for so nothing to worry about there and that's why I feel like kidnap is is good in most decks uh, if not all decks really just because it's uh it doesn't really matter what you're running it just kind of defends against or slows down the opponent's late game And it's always nice to know that you have a slightly uh, better advantage in the late game. Right 
So I'm going to put this uh, this sniper monkey on first, and there you go. I'm going to kidnap his Apache instantly. Uh, I'm going to try find my kidnap again. There you go. Perfect. And soon I'll have enough money for another Apache. I'm not too keen on the way they're, they're facing at the moment. I feel like they should be facing the other way shooting at it, but... Nothing too major there. Okay, so he's spike storm started. It was getting, uh, the balloons were getting quite far on his screen. And they did earlier as well, but... I guess this time he felt the need to spike storm just to play it safe. Oh, I'm a little worried about putting a uh, sniper monkey up there. I will take is the I didn't uh, I just didn't want to mess up the placement of that Apache putting it back. And where is that? Hidden that. that is what I like about cards though, the uh, kind of randomness of what cards you can get uh, that just pop up over here, what card is your next card kind of thing. Uh, I feel like it gives less experienced players uh, like myself, just a, a little extra edge that it's not completely skill based. Uh, obviously there's a lot of skill in building the deck. Uh, but apart from that, it's, you know, it's a little bit like kind of luck, I guess. And his rotation is not looking too good. Because he's not able to get another Apache out after we take that. So let's just fill up on Blue Jitsis. I'll put a couple of them on strong. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference, but. You never really know, at least I will never really know. So, looks like we do have enough for another Apache, so we, I feel like we are getting the better late game setup uh, ready and out on the field, which definitely gives me a lot of hope. And he's going to damage boost and spike storm. And I feel like we may have to range boost just to be on the safe side. Uh, possibly not. I'll just throw that down. Why not? Uh, nah, it looks like uh, we're actually doing pretty good. And doesn't look like I'll be able to fit another Apache down there. Can I fit them? I can slyly fit them in there. Okay, so <laughs> we got the victory and that looks like a good game to kind of uh, stop on there. But basically that game, the kidnap was coming in pretty clutch. And I think that his lack of eco in the early game really really hurt him so just another thing to keep in mind if you do make a deck you've got to get some good early game cards it's not all about the late game especially when a card a single card like kidnap can just disrupt the opponent's late game so much uh, i feel like it's it's definitely more about the early kind of mid game uh, obviously it's good to have some late game towers in there but definitely some good things to keep in mind if you are building a deck so that's all from me 
if you did like it if you did like this video even leave a little like and also leave a like if you are happy we got rid of that lost streak because that was dirty and we're now on a little one win streak let's see if we can uh beef that up a little bit uh let's see if we can change our deck a little bit as well uh hopefully in the next episode i'll, I'll only make a few changes off camera nothing nothing major um but yeah have a good one peace out